Today started off very early with a roundtable meeting uh, with uh, some of the uh, heads of the large conglomerates here in uh, Cambodia. And I think uh, we have lots of potential uh, areas that we can uh, further uh, develop. Uh, uh, some, of, some of them have already have many interests already in uh, the Philippines. They, already would, they also would like us to come into Cambodia. Uh, especially in terms of food, in terms of agriculture as well. So, uh, housing, we talked about uh, everything. So that, that's how we started off and I think it was a very productive meeting. Um, and the bilateral, the last bilateral meeting I had was with the Prime Minister, Prime Minister Hang Sen. And we discussed at length uh, Myanmar and the, the possible uh, areas of uh, agreement within the different uh, member states in, um, in uh, ASEAN, uh, including up to and including the problems that we are feeling from the conflict in uh, Eastern Europe between Russia and Ukraine. Uh, the business meetings were, have also been very interesting to hear, not only from our businessmen, but from the businessmen uh, from all the member countries. Uh, to watch their view, there is, Again, uh, very, very great many parallels. There are very great many parallels to the situation as they see it and as we see it. So again, uh, we're happy that at least we had a uh, 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 productive meeting once again. And again, it seems that we are uh, focusing on the right areas and uh, trying to do the right things. Um, the youth... Uh, meeting, uh, I actually asked our youngest governor uh, to, to give the message, which impressed very much uh, the Prime Minister who was chairing the meeting, uh, the, that we, we in the Philippines have a 24-year-old governor. And that is uh, something I wanted to show off, that people say, we are talking about youth empowerment, and said, well, in the Philippines, uh, we're, we're, we're doing that. Uh, because we have these young leaders who are ready to take up the councils for the country. So there are, it has been, uh, it, it has been productive and uh, there are two more days of this and I think that uh, the bilaterals are, are very, it is interesting to, to listen to the positions of the different countries on various issues, uh, which is what happens in the, what they call the interface uh, meetings. Uh, and the bilateral meetings also are, have become very important because uh, that is where we actually uh, do business with uh, private corporations and other countries.